April 11th, 1034 AD, the fatal bath of Romanos III. On April 11th, 1034 AD, Eastern Roman Emperor Romanos III was drowned in his bathtub by a group of unknown assassins. He was 65 years old. Many believe he was killed on the orders of his wife, Empress Zoe, who tried to have him poisoned a day earlier. This was years in the making because the two were forced to marry and were unhappy with each other. In November of 1028, the dying emperor, Constantine VIII, was persuaded by the Duke of Antioch, Constantine, who originally was going to be emperor, to designate the 60-year-old Romanus III to be the next ruler and ordered him to divorce his wife, who was then sent to a monastery, so he could marry 50-year-old Empress Zoe, so he could rule over the Eastern Roman Empire and keep the Macedonian dynasty in power. During his five-year reign as emperor, Romanos was nearly deposed several times as everybody and their mama was gunning for his crown. The first biggest threat occurred in 1029, less than a year after being named emperor. His own sister-in-law, Theodora, was going to marry the prince of Bulgaria, Prussian, and usurp his crown, but Prussian was arrested, blighted, and tonsured. His sister-in-law, Theodora, tried again to find someone to topple Romanus' regime in 1031, the Archeon of Simeon. This time, Zoe had her sister tonsured and sent off to a monastery. Tired of this crazy family and of Zoe's outrageous spending, he tried to limit her expenditures, which pretty much put a death nail in their marriage. Romanus went out and found a mistress, while Zoe found one herself, her future husband, Michael, a former money changer, now a member of the imperial court. After Romanus's corpse was dragged out of the bathtub and brought before Michael, the imperial court began to proclaim him the new emperor of the Eastern Roman Empire. An hour later, Zoe and Michael were married, but he had to wait a day to be officially crowned emperor because the patriarch of Constantinople, Alexius I, refused to perform the ceremony due to the unusually quick circumstances. Fifty pounds of gold was delivered to him the next day, which made him reconsider his initial refusal.